I love the open space uh, from uh, from the classic series and, uh, and from the new series. What about the best? Um, oh, I, don't, I don't want to choose one from the new series. I feel like a crap when I do. Uh, <laughs> so um, I, I feel too. I'm too close to all of it. So uh, the open space of uh, all, all the old series. Before I before I showed up, I think that was my uh, was my favorite. Um, I think <coughs> the classic series uh, from the, the Talons of Wang Chiang. I had that on video when I was 12 and I just watched it over and over and over again. It's going to recite this script. And the modern series, um, I'm going to seem like a creep, but it's like probably, probably pink. Uh, the Green Death. My yeah. favourite. Yeah. And all that mess of this and all that. <laughs> 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 Politician's answer of the new series. I'm going to say the next one. I don't. I mean, of the old series, I don't think I've actually seen it, but I do love these Yetis, and I wish yeah. the Yetis would come, like the actual yeah. like, Yetis. Yeah. Yeah. They're dead scary somehow. Have you seen the the, the Web of Fear? Have you? No, I've, I've seen a little only clips oh, of it, right. but okay. but I just think that they're. I, I love them because they're a bit like the Daleks in the sense that in any logical sense they shouldn't be scary, yeah, yet great. they are really bloody scary these Yetis. And of the new series, I can either offend one person here or two people here or both of them. Yeah, 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 yeah it's all of them. So I definitely, um, whichever one they worked together on, it was really good. I love that Yeah. Question one there, and then question two um, over the corner there. Okay, Steve. At the end of. Name of the Doctor, mm -hmm. they're left in the time stream. No, they're not, they're leaving the time stream. Oh, oh. Time to go out. Okay, I was going to ask you, would you follow me once? <laughs> <laughs> like, he, 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 uh, uh, but to, but to <laughs> partly uh, answer your question, he doesn't leave with any great energy, because poor old Matt Smith had uh, really hurt his knee, so rotating with Carrie and Jenna. <laughs> so uh, the, uh, the, the heroic exit of the time stream was slightly curtailed, but he leaves at that point. Yep. Hi. Um, my name's Dan from Froome. Thursday night, my stepdad passed away, oh. and I wanted to say thank you very much for the healing power of Doctor Who the last couple of days. I've watched, a, I'll show uh, Dare the Doctor to my brother who hadn't seen it yet, and he really enjoyed it. And I showed uh, Night the Doctor to him as well. Thank you for that as well. He really enjoyed that too. He's not a huge fan, but he watched it with me. Um, so I want to say thank you for that. Also, I guess to Stephen, but I suppose to the rest of you as well. If you have money with no object, what actor, writer, director would you really like to get in Doctor Who? For me, I'd like to get Paul Just Haggis. These ones. <laughs> <laughs> I like Paul Haggis friend. myself. But. Um, uh, if money were no object, uh, I can't imagine such a scenario. Do you know what? I think the right people are doing Doctor Who. There are people we might be able to get uh, that, but you know, you, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be doing Doctor Who for money. <laughs> <laughs> you should be doing it for love. You should abandon the much more lucrative job. <laughs> <laughs> Joy and love of the police box. And uh, I, I did. I worked out on Spielberg. I had a three picture deal. So uh, when you're trying to work out who the biggest, most tragic Doctor Who Hello, um, I've got a question for Stephen and I guess um, potentially Mark of it as well. We've noticed in some of the recent seasons that uh, for some of the hardcore fans, many of which are here this um, evening, that you just throw little bones in from classic series and things like um, you know, trying to deal with various uh, issues in the past, like trying to consolidate the different TARDIS sounds, um, you know, all little things like that. So for the two of you, are there any just little things that you've thrown in for, um, you know, to deal with your maybe ways of sorting out the past things or classic things that you're particularly proud of? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you I mean... You brought the soggy show back. No, no, no. I'm going to regeneration. Show on her.
Are there any particular things that you're proud of that only the very class... There's nothing left, is there? Mark and I were honestly having this conversation. I said, is there anything we haven't done? Short of actually, you know, regrowing new versions of the dead doctors. What else can we do? That's not it. Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask Stephen just about the great intelligence coming back. Did you know when you were conceiving that that Weber fear was discovered? And was there a reason why you didn't have the Yetis and you invented the Whisper Man? Um, Steve Mo then, I'll do the voice. <laughs> yes, I knew. <laughs> <laughs> seriously when it comes down to all that stuff the best man possible is searching for those episodes i pray nightly for him for his safety and safety of the film cans he might find but uh, enough of the rumors everybody who's inclined to spread those rumors should really please shut up it makes it, it makes it makes life difficult for the uh, for the man he knows what he's doing I'm, I think there's a, in, there is no other news. There is no other news, but I'm confident that at some point there will be. But leave them be. Seriously. Uh, uh, well, and, uh, you know, look, it's, it matters more to me than you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, if they find all the episodes, I can watch an episode and not have seen it 20 times. We're <laughs> <laughs> coming to an end. We've got a question. Um, we've been waiting very patiently there. Um, uh, one, and then the second is back right from two. Um, just asking, because the episodes look really good on the um, screen, is there any chance of having some more being shown besides the 50th anniversary? So, just, look, we're going straight past number two at the American box office and saying, <laughs> are you just stopping there? <laughs> and, uh, well, uh, I, I, we, we've noticed it did well. You may only mention it more than once over, over the uh, over the coming months. So it's great to see it up there in the big screen, isn't it? Isn't it exciting? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it great how you know? I mean, the real news about uh, how well they have looked at internationally in the uh, in the movies is uh, television just handed cinema its own arse. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be nice. I want to personally thank Stephen and Mark for what the best Doctor Who of 50 years, what we've had recently, the success. I was very proud when Stephen said that the XL has never ever been more popular. And I want to thank you personally for me, who've been a fan for 50 years, because it has never been more popular or better, and it's been wonderful. And if I can ask one tiny question, um, there's lots of rumours online that there might be a 60-minute Easter special. I know there probably are just rumours, but is there any chance at all? Uh, look, you, you, you're going to, we're not discussing our future transmission plans. We haven't started shooting the new series. Well, at least there was a little chance. It's early <laughs> for us to be scheduling it, so we're not, we're not done with that. Question over there, next to all there, and then the final question <coughs> from the gentleman third row up here. Thank you. A uh, question for Mark and Stephen. Are you tempted to write a scene um, where the Doctor has to fix a 15 second uh, live uh, satellite transmission? As long as Harry's in it, I'm in it. I've never seen anything funnier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in it. I'm in a, a live television disaster <laughs> shown on all those clip shows. And there I am, the very first person to face palm on the subject. Yeah, face palm. That would be great. <laughs> Sorry, uh, uh, um, serious question. Was it a big decision to make Big Finish canon? 
Um, canonical. What well, does canonical prize mean? Hey! <laughs> Sorry. Do you like I really like the tech okay. technique. I'll, I'll let you into the truth, but <laughs> it's all canonical. All of it. Every single last bit. You may think that means there are huge contradictions. <laughs> Irreconcilable contradictions. <laughs> Have you been watching the same thing? <laughs> It doesn't matter. <laughs> so it's all true. It's all true. The annual stories, the stories in the back of the, those sweetie cigarettes, which we want to stop breaking <laughs> Everything's all true. Okay. Thank you. The, the final question to the gentleman three rows up here. Uh, the microphone is winging its way over to as we speak. Here we go. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no pressure to make it a good one. <laughs> um, the last, the last, the last one. Yeah. This is it. This is the last moment of the After now, you. And on that note, um, clearly it's seeped into your DNA and uh, it is an irret uh, irretrievable part of, of, of you and what you are now. But on the slim chance that you do other things outside of this, do you ever find yourself trying to do something and think, can't do that, this isn't a time-traveling thousand-year-old alien? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you mean when, I'm, when we're writing other things? Yeah. Um, are you, let's be honest, you mean Sherlock. <laughs> 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 That's the only other we do. But Doctor Who is its own distinct thing, I think. I don't, I don't, um, uh, no, not particularly. It's easy to switch in and out of uh, Doctor Who. I, I very much like switching into it. Um, so uh, it's, it's got a bigger range of possibility than any other show, and yet more demands <coughs> made on you than any other show. So it, yeah, I, I suppose to some do you miss it when you're not writing it, Mark? Oh, yes, yeah. you do. I do, but there's also, a, it's very true, I mean, you can't, you know, Sherlock can't just go through doors in the same sort of way, that sort of thing. It's sort of practical problems more than anything. Yeah, I've, I've spoke, Matt Smith certainly has an attitude about this, which is that he, he's tried desperately when he does other things not to go into certain Doctor Whoisms. So he said he finds himself going for his bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, turning into his close up and all that sort of thing. So I think it's, a, it's, a, it's a, something he's aware of. I try not to blow things up. Yeah. <laughs> I think a better way of answering that is I do sometimes think that the flaw with all television programs that are not Doctor Who, and I often wonder what the flaw in those shows is, um, uh, is that they don't have the Doctor in them. The Doctor could improve most television shows. <laughs> fantastic exposition, romance, action, pathos. He's brilliant at, he's even brilliant at not being in a scene. Uh, the Doctor not being in a scene can improve it. Uh, so actually, you could, I mean, imagine how much better Holby would be. <laughs> <laughs> or, or Mr. Ben, or anything. He would just improve everything. Our, all our shows are basically hobbled by the absence of the Doctor. It's like you, you, we do one Doctor like a year, they've been doing it for centuries. How badly it's working out. <laughs> well, it really has been the most incredible year, and um, 